Hello, welcome back. Okay, so I just want to show you how to highlight and pin posts. This is a highlighted post, that's what this is called. And if I click on this little star, that removes it from the highlights. And I'll show you exactly what it does. There you go. That is now just there in the left hand side of my timeline, just like any other normal status update. That is how you highlight a post. Basically means that it expands it across the width of your page. So if I go back into the social network in the academy, for instance, and go all the way to the top, I could take this post today um, that uh, either Rhett or Evie put up there and I can just simply click on that little highlight and what that's going to do is it is going to span the width of the page then and there it goes. And if you do that with anything, with any of your posts or status updates or anything, as you go down your page, you'll find that you'll have these highlights. I don't think we've got too many on here actually. You find that you have these highlights which are really quite cool. Okay. Um, and uh, and it will make your page more interesting to, to read and watch, okay, to, to go through. So what does pinning mean? Well, pinning means that I can actually take this post and I can put it at the top of my wall, on the left-hand side here, for seven days. But what you can't do is highlight and pin at the same time. You can only do one or the other. So if we click on this little pencil here and click pin to top, click on that, and that then is going to pin that photo to the top of my wall yeah and you can see now you've got this little gold pin now it means that anything else so this was posted two hours ago note that this was only posted 16 minutes ago yeah so now all of a sudden everything else that posted comes underneath this post this is now going to be at the top left hand side top of your wall for the next seven days um, so what would you use that for well, you may use it to talk about a webinar that you've got coming up. You may use it to highlight one of your tabs that you want to direct people to. You may use it to um, put some really, really great content up there. You may use it to congratulate a fan of the week. Whatever you use it for, make it interesting, engaging, and give people a reason to want to stay on your page and read more. And that's what I would use this for. So I, again, I would not use this as a sales tool. I wouldn't put a big sales promotion or something up there. I would use this for great content and a great reason for people to come back um, and, and uh, look at what else you've got to offer on your page. Okay, so that is highlighting and pinning posts. Other things that you can see when you click on this little pencil are you've got change the date. So if I wanted to actually change the date of this post, I could go in and do that from here. Um, if I had a photo that was a bit big for, for this and I wanted to move the photo around so the point that I wanted to make um, was showing on the page, then I could reposition the photo. I can hide this from the page. I can decide I actually don't want this showing on the page or I can completely delete it altogether. Okay. Alright, so that ends this video all about highlighting and pinning and editing your posts. Um, in the next video, we're just going to have a quick look at tagging, okay? And that means uh, whether, where and how we can tag other people, pages, etc. So I'll see you in the next video.